still fairly high, but with a wind like this, I'd much rather try and make sure that I get it down reasonably well. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Crosswind from the uh, from the right, which well was nothing really to worry about. Although when you get to this height, it is actually more than I was expecting, but it's not a problem. It is 25 to 7 on a Wednesday. To be honest, I don't know whether it's the 13th or 14th. I'll have to put that as a as a note underneath. And I've come across over here uh, for an evening flight. Um, I'm not going to be able to go anywhere. It's, it's basically too late. But I've also brought Dad. He wanted to come out for a for a drive. So he is in the car. I mean, a very nice visibility evening. Can't see that there is anybody else flying, to be honest. There's no traces from Pilot Aware. I have to try and make sure that I'm talking to you. There's been too many times recently where I haven't been talking. Um, hopefully we're into that situation now whereby with lockdown being eased, we're now at a point at which you are allowed to fly with, with people outside your bubble, as long as you're masked up and you um, show care and consideration, etc. I have done a couple of flights whereby we were given permission to fly solo. Somebody questioned me on that one about being given the permission. Technically speaking, it wasn't a law as such, but it was... It was a suggestion. What are you making that noise for? It does mean that we'll be able to start going places and doing things. And that'll be rather nice because I'll then be able to start using the channel the way that I had originally intended. And uh, effectively speaking, that was, I had this notion that I could do postcards from um, and fly into different places give people um, uh, some idea of what it's like to fly in and what there is there etc etc very very much like Terry's doing with his channel uh, the way this one comes out um, it will have been after that's um, been published that is going to be published this Friday all being well um, and that was interesting to see what he did when he filmed coming into Nayland. And the object of the exercise was that he's actually sent me that film. I've, I've edited it down into smaller parts. And, well, he, you've probably seen that already now. But I edited it down um, and made reference to it. And this was going to be the first video on his new channel. I'll link that up there now. Um, but if you haven't had a look, do have a look. Terry Kent, um, channel called Shortfield, uh, and it's all to do with flying his sports cruiser into a number of different strips. So, yeah, as I say, give him some support, and we'll see whether or not we can boost his numbers. Uh, I was the very first person to look at his page and to subscribe, so it will be interesting to see how those numbers have um, have built up. But yeah, there's lots to look forward to now. We've had a glorious week, I have to say, um, although 
I haven't been able to. For uh, three five. I haven't been able to fly because of uh, other circumstances, but I had to come up today. Um, not 100% sure what's going on tomorrow, but I do hope again to fly on Friday. So that will be uh, another video. I'm not. I'm, I'm set up to have another go at filming that landing, uh, which I'll probably cut to very shortly now. But um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how close I'm going to get to the trees, because we have got uh, an easterly. Now, lots of people have got different views as to which um, which wind condition affects Nayland the most. Uh, we are very, very much affected by the wind. I mean, we're either going to get a howling tailwind, which gives you a very nice takeoff, or a very nice takeoff, which gives you a howling tailwind. Have I said that right? Um, but anyway, um, you can imagine. I have to say that I've always found a, that an easterly is a fairly difficult one to judge because of the curl over of the hill. And I know I did a video about that some time ago. But, yeah, we'll see what happens when we get back. And uh, I'll try and film it. I set my, my, my phone up to film out through there. Uh, because when I tried it with one of the other cameras, it didn't work. But I think it doesn't matter how many cameras that we use. I just realised this is going to be... Um, fairly silhouetted against the sun. It's either going to be a really nice shot or it's going to be a real nightmare. So in a moment I will turn around and maybe film some of this so that I'm actually lit up. But the air is very, very cold and damp tonight. I'm needing a lot of carb heat. Um, I've climbed up to about 3,000 just to have a look and see what's happening with these clouds. They're not that much above me now. So I will make a turn. A whole load of very nice Jacob's ladders. Get the trim a little bit right. Not only get the trim right, but get the seat right. I put the coat on, but it's a bit sort of um, all bunched up. Maybe I should have taken the coat off and put the heater on, but hey ho. So flying off into the sunset, although it's not going to be sunset now for about 45 minutes. But as always, it's lovely to get back up into the air. Haven't heard anything from Pilot Aware, but there again, I haven't seen anybody on there. At school, I often got uh, criticised for the fact that my hat kept on going at a strange angle. When we used to take the children abroad, um, that's the school children abroad, we didn't make them wear a uniform as such, but we did ask that they wear their red school sweatshirt and their red school cap, which was quite interesting because when we were either in France or in Holland, um, they don't tend to wear school uniform. So it was quite novel for them to actually see children in in school uniform. I don't know whether that back camera is going to show it, but the colour there is now really quite nice. I did have to leave the aircraft on trickle charge, which I, I must admit I don't like doing. But when I was last over um, on the Sunday when, when Terry uh, was here and lots of people were flying, uh, I have to say that it was only registering about 11 volts. So I left it on trickle charge. And uh, yeah, it was, was 13.7. Um, 
when I first started up. You're not going to be able to see it, you really are not, but I've just noticed right on the horizon over there, you can easily make out Canary Wharf. Um, okay, to uh, on the lot frequency. And the city, which is absolutely splendiferous. Just over the top of the airfield, I just wanted to have a little look and see what the windsock is saying. Although I have to say, when I got the aircraft out of the hangar, the windsock direction seemed very, very different to where the wind seemed to be when I pushed it round the corner. It actually looks now as if it's virtually a headwind to land, and that doesn't happen very often at all. I do take Terry's point when he was saying that in all of my films, I've never mentioned the Sudbury mast. There's two masts there. Uh, on that video, I did point out that they were two and a half, no, 2.9 nautical miles from the airfield, but they are sitting within the uh, Waddisham Max. We tend to keep clear of them for obvious reasons, but also to keep clear of the, of the Max. Traffic 89 oh. kilometers, 1,900 feet below. Hello. 1,900 feet below. Must be fairly low, that's all I can say. But hey ho, you are there, which is rather nice. Shame that that sun has disappeared below those or behind those clouds, because I was rather hoping we were going to get a nice sunset like we had last night. I am going to turn. I don't think there's anything happening at Wormingford. I'm sure there's not, but I am going to turn towards what I was saying about Canary Wharf. I doubt, I very much doubt that you're going to be able to see it. Also quite good to make sure that camera is working for our return. That's one of the ones that I haven't got set up. I have got it set up to the uh, remote. I must need to do that. But yeah, there we are. So, that's a frightening shot, I'm sure. So anyway, let's put you back. The object of the exercise was to try and do that. Traffic danger, 400 feet below. 400 feet below danger. It's saying that, it's saying 400 feet below, but it's not actually showing anything on Sky Demon. Traffic, 6 o'clock, 9 kilometres, 300 feet below. Okay, that is the helicopter, but I think you'll find it is going in the other direction. I don't want to worry you or anything. Nayland traffic, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead, Nayland traffic. Just having a look at the runway markings, we were talking about, John and I were talking about putting some more lime down to make it a little bit easier to see. And it was interesting what Terry said about putting a, a round blob so that when you were lined up, I showed him which trees um, and I'll put that on now. But I did point out which trees to aim for, but he did say that having done it for the first time, when he was at the top of the runway, one clump of trees looked very much like another clump of trees, which I sort of accept. It's easy for me to say, having been flying off the hill since 1980. I don't think how many flights I've made, but doesn't mean to say that uh, any two are going to be the same. And it does pay, as always, to stay on your toes. I'm sure people get extremely fed up of me saying it, but that's one pair of lakes. Downwind. 
heading towards the equestrian centre. Hatches, harness, brake, air brake I'll do in a moment, car pee I'll do in a moment. I'm going to go back onto the front tank. Mixture is rich and fuel pump is on. So we're coming to the second pair of lake. Still basically a little bit high to be honest. I really don't want this to shake if it's going to be a usable piece of film. I will now give us some carb heat. I will look for 80. That puts me in the white arc, so that brings the air brake down. Change of trim. Over the top of the building site. Uh, registering 70 knots, which I'm quite happy with at the moment. 500 feet a minute down. Nayland traffic, Golf Alpha, Yankee Echo Hotel, turning final, Nayland traffic. It'll be one of those situations where it is going to get quite dark quite quickly. Whereas this time last night, it was still really bright. You can see the strength of the wind. Because I am crabbing like mad. So that wind has now turned round again, and it is very much an easterly. Strange angle. Still fairly high, but with a wind like this, I'd much rather try and make sure that I get it down reasonably well. I just was happy with that, really. Very, very bumpy. That's ground bumpy rather than landing bumpy. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, Sorry if it's a bit repetitive, but hopefully you did stick with me. Remember, give me a like. That's important for the YouTube analytics. And also, I mean, comments are important, but actually I like them because it's just nice to have feedback from my viewers. But thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. And uh, see you again next time. I did have to stop on the drive back to film what turned out to be a glorious sunset. Next week I fly into Monuden and meet up with Algy from the channel Flying Cub.